Maldonado, Bobby Mal Maldonado, 1642 Grand Ave, Racine. All right, thank you, Common Council, for letting me speak here today. Uh, again, my name is Bobby Maldonado, and I'm speaking here on behalf of uh, multiple people I've spoken to about this event center. The majority of people that I have spoken to have no idea what this event center even is and have no idea that it's going on. I want to remind the Common Council that we have had high, the, highest um, the highest unemployment rate for the longest time, currently number two, to Beloit. A lot of people here struggle, have uh, stepping stone jobs, low wage jobs, and I feel that this event center is the embodiment of that. Part-time jobs, low wage jobs. I want, to, I want to remind the Common Council that we have massive debt here, $101 million in debt with this arena, this event center, with a price tag of $65 million, not including the hotel. 32 cents of every dollar goes to debt here in the city of Racine. When you vote for this arena, keep in mind the future generations that are going to have to deal with this debt. Also. I want to bring up the fact that the RDA has wasted over $15 million on multiple failed projects here. They are the last group of people who have, should have any proposals on developing projects here. Common Council, please hold these people accountable for wasting all this money, for the loss of money. And also, the conflict of interest that some of these RDA members they are the ones voting for this, and they are the ones are, that are potentially going to benefit from this arena. Also, the fact that the Common Council voted 9-4 to four to not allow the people to vote on this event center is also very troubling. And I think that speaks volume of what's going on in this administration. And also, I noticed that there was pictures of the event center. Next time, can, you, can we please have pictures of the people who struggle here, zip code 03, zip code 04. These people live in a different racine than the majority of us here today. Thank you very much. For an opportunity to speak. Um, first of all, I'd like to take issue with some of the statements that were made at the last meeting uh, during the vote for the resolution. Some who voted for this resolution said that they had not heard from constituents that were against it. Mr. DeHaan and others would have had they answered their phones or emptied their voicemail or answering machines so that their constituents could get through. This is what we, are, we and others are hearing as we canvass the neighborhoods and find the people that you represent frustrated with your inaccessibility and the vast majority of whom signed the petition for a referendum. For those who think they were elected to make decisions like this grand speculation investment, think again. You were elected to represent your districts, to make sure the city keeps running, that the health, welfare, and safety of the citizens is provided for, and to make sure that their tax dollars are spent wisely and effect efficiently. Do not equate this project with buying a fire or a garbage truck. They are drastically different. Who authorized the nearly quarter million spent prior to the approval of the 600000 for the feasibility study? What about the safety building? the development and liabilities of Machinery Row, the millions of dollars transferred to the Capital Improvement Fund for annual budget operating expenses, closed fire stations, removed street lights, etc. These all need to be answered before you max out the credit line, plunging our bond rating down and mortgaging our children's future. Finally, this question has to be raised repeatedly. How much of the $600,000 has been spent and what is left? We're never given a straight, concise answer. Why is it you cannot be honest with the taxpayers? You should know the cost of each contract issued as well as bills that have been paid. Are you not maintaining a spreadsheet? It is time to stop the shell games and bait and switch tactics. The taxpayers are owed better than this. How many of you can honestly say that you have read, digested, thoroughly understand the information presented, and are perfectly qualified to make a decision of this magnitude? Perhaps Mr. Palinick could share his experience with the Build It and They Will Come Arena disaster in Rio Rancho before you vote on the resolution tonight. Please do not vote to accept this resolution. Thank you. Okay, vote eight yes, four no, motion has passed.